It was like a movie scene here on Wednesday 12th when some hooded guys invaded the popular tarmac, the Abel Kuta Computer Village where phones and other accessories are being sold and they carted away goods worth millions of naira. Actually what, what happened there was a daylight robbery. I've never experienced this. I see this in the movie, but it was a real life incident where they were shooting haphazardly everywhere and everywhere were just running for cover, everybody were just running for safety. If anyone had told Dayo Bankoli not to come to his place of work on Wednesday 12th of April 2023, maybe he would still be alive today. But unfortunately, he was the only one shot at close range by the armed robbers who attacked popular computer village in Abelkuta called Tamak. A father of a twin, Diabankoli's shop is now under lock and key. Just shooting at everybody. So we all ran. So after some time, we discovered that they are just looting our foes here. So at the end of the day, we try to gather and chase them down to uh, Omida before we apprehended uh, one of them. So in the course of chasing them, we lost uh, one of our members, which was very sad to each and every one of us. At Tarmac, over 3,000 youths and family men make their daily living. It has been existing close to 20 years until this day. At the time, we don't know what to do because we don't actually know what is really happening. So everybody was just running. So it was a, that after some minutes, we went up down along the Okilewo side. So we later saw some of them. Some of our colleagues now called that, that they are, those people, they are packing our markets. So it was then that we now come back from, from, from where we hide to come and meet them. So on a good, when we are coming, we met them. But as, as nearly they sighted us, they started running. The robbers came armed around four in the afternoon, covered their faces, shot sporadically into the air, broke into shops and stole phones what millions of naira if we say we want to value it we might not actually get the actual we are not getting the actual value but it should be around 14 15 million naira worth of goods they they are still in shock still now we did not pray for such things in our life and this in our environment we pray that god should let us everything to tie down like this we shall not experience such thing in our life inshallah the bruises are still everywhere as the shops are yet to recover those selling here are still in fear gun cartridges everywhere and broken glasses as they continue to count their losses there used to be a patrol vehicle under the Ibarra bridge close to tamak but the NSAS crisis led to their removal the public relations officer ogun police command abimbola Uyemi, who confirmed the incident narrated what happened investigation has commenced anyway and uh, we are very sure that the remaining members of the gang they are going to be ar arrested Ogun State is not a place where somebody, so somebody or some hoodlums who just gather themselves and uh, they decided to unleash terror in broad daylight. Even if you do, if you do it in the night, you are still going to meet your Waterloo. Talk less of somebody who have the audacity, they have the temerity to to carry it out at broad daylight. So we've commenced the investigation. The uh, the case has been transferred to the. State Criminal Investigation Department for discrete investigation, and uh, we are on the trail of the fleeing member of that gang, and uh, we are very sure that uh, we are going to get them. According to the authority at the Computer Village, they will mourn the dead for a few days, after which they will pray over the incidents, but pleaded to government for adequate security in the area. Bumi Adigun. OGTV News.